over the past 50 years or so, we have already seen this trajectory of increasing wildfire on the landscape. This is not just something we are expecting to happen in the coming decades, but is already something that we're living. It's a scene Canadians have gotten a bit too used to seeing, and may see more of in the future. Wildfires from BC to the Maritimes and those who study Canada's forests say it's no surprise why. There's been this anticipation that we're going to have warmer, uh, warmer environmental conditions, and that sometimes won't be offset in full by precipitation. And so that is kind of the secret sauce for making wildfire. You've got warm environmental conditions and it's dry. Dr. Catherine Dealman is a boreal forest ecologist. While wildfires that can be traced directly to humans like unauthorized burns or loose cigarette butts are decreasing, Canada's seeing an increase in lightning strikes. There's definitely a connection back to our climate and the increase in our lightning caused events. And that's predicted to continue to increase as we move forward. Dealman adds that extreme wildfires add another wrinkle, biomass deep in the soil built up over decades or centuries, which represent massive carbon stores that are released during massive infernos. It's just like any other type of combustion. We're breaking apart carbon, and one of the byproducts of combustion is CO2. It's very important that residents and communities are actively involved in identifying the risk and, and finding ways to reduce those risks. Tara McGee says mitigation strategies will need to come from the bottom up, not the top down. Communities are often the ones who bear the lion's share of the cost for evacuating people, hosting evacuees and rebuilding. But even if a local community's efforts are lacking, there are national level resources available. Fire Smart Canada has been in existence for at least 20 years. It started in Alberta and it's now countrywide. They have um, very extensive education activities for, for residents to have communities understand the fire risks and how they can reduce those risks. In Ottawa, Shally Lee, City News.